Hi, I'm Willa Kaiser. I am the director of the Caduceus Institute of Classical Homeopathy. And I wanted to share with you today the five main reasons you might want to become a homeopath and study homeopathy. So starting with the fifth reason, um, home homeopathy has an absolutely elegant, beautiful um, system of healing that you can learn very deeply and thoroughly by studying the organon of medicine and then you can go ahead and apply those principles to every situation you find yourself in regarding health and disease. So um, it's a real sense of security and strength to know that you have a system of healing that you are clear about and that you know how to apply. And that's what we teach in our program through teaching you the Organon of Medicine, which was written by Hahnemann in 1810, and classical homeopaths are, to this day, 200 years later, continuing to apply these principles of health and disease and healing based on the vital force, based on the idea that we have an energy body, and that's what we're working with in homeopathy. The fourth reason is uh, that we have a system of homeopathic remedies that you can rely on. Once approving is done on a homeopathic remedy, approving is when a remedy is given to healthy people um, to uh, um, bring about the symptoms that will then be cured when somebody has those symptoms when they're sick, which is the principle of like cures like. So um, the system to learn how remedies are going to affect people is by doing what are called provings. Hahnemann, uh, who was the founder of homeopathy, did a number of provings himself, and many other homeopaths over the last couple of hundred years have continued to do provings on remedies. And once those provings are done, they are um, accurate and we rely on them. Um, when I graduated from homeopathy school, uh, the medical doctor who came to give the commencement speech took a copy of the um, physician's desk uh, reference, which is what's used um, by allopathic physicians to look up medicines, and he threw it on the ground and said, this is the weight of the situation because it's a really big, thick book. And basically that... Um, PDR is having to be rewritten constantly because they're finding out new things about the drugs, the side effects, new drugs are being developed, and it's just um, basically unreliable uh, when you're using pharmaceuticals. Of course, they can help um, in many, many cases. They save lives, but um, it doesn't have the kind of steady reliability that we have with homeopathic provings. So once you learn a remedy in our program, you know, you know what you need to know about that remedy, and you can rely on uh, what you know about it. The third reason that you uh, might want to consider studying homeopathy and becoming a homeopath is that homeopaths highly individualize their um, prescriptions, and that's why the homeopathic interview takes so long, is because we really treat people as individuals and we really look into what makes them unique and special. So um, this is very different from the direction that our world goes in general with kind of generalizing and pe putting people into these mass kind of categories. But we really treat people as individuals and uh, giving that kind of individual attention in itself is very, very healing. Many people um, say that the homeopathic interview um, is just a very uh, wonderful experience to go through uh, to actually have a homeopath who's really deeply listening uh, to what they have to say and they're able to kind of access um, symptoms and feelings and memories that haven't come up before because of that sort of healing power of presence uh, that takes place in the homeopathic interview. The second reason is um, to be able to offer the gift of health. 
to your friends, to your family, your community, your clients. Um, you know, there's nothing, you, no matter what you've got in the material world, if you don't feel good, um, none of it is really going to be able to be enjoyable. So um, having, being able to really offer um, health to others is just an extremely gratifying and wonderful experience. And that leads us to our main reason why we study homeopathy, and Hahnemann talks about this in the Organon of Medicine, that basically what we're doing is we're bringing, by um, giving somebody a homeopathic remedy, we are allowing their vital force to really um, express itself and, and let the person be able to have that freedom from the limitations of disease. So whether it's on an emotional level or on a physical level, in homeopathy we define um, sickness as a kind of constriction, um, something that holds us down or keeps us from really being who we really were meant to be and, and keeps us from fulfilling our potential. Um, and then health and healing being the release from that kind of bondage of um, mental or physical symptoms. Um, you, if you think of somebody who's really healthy, um, they're kind of the opposite of being reactive. So if somebody's healthy, if you know if they don't get enough sleep, it's okay. If they eat something that's a little not really right for them, it's okay. Maybe if somebody says an unkind word or you know, has a temper tantrum, you know, it's it's okay because they have the sort of flexibility and freedom inside of themselves to adapt. Whereas with um, disease, where we become more rigid and more tight, um, whether it's on a physical level, like somebody with asthma who's reacting to different substances, or whether it's an, on, an, on an emotional level where we have emotional reactions um, to things that are going on around us. But if we are able to be free of that and just really express ourselves and, as Hahnemann says, fulfill the higher purposes of our existence. Uh, so that is really the goal of a homeopath, is to give people that freedom to be who they really are and uh, so that they can do what they came here to do on this planet. I hope that uh, gives you a little bit of an idea of the beauty and wonder of homeopathy and hope to um, talk to you soon. See you next time and do check out our website and our blog. Thanks so much for listening and take care.